man Nowhere to go Everybody looks the other way Go tell him Welcome to Swordbox Ministries. Our video for today is entitled, Words of Faith and Tribulation. Mackie talks about Jesus and his most difficult hour, with his disciples before the crucifixion, and the powerful claim from Jesus, when he said I have overcome. Our verse for today is found in Romans 4, 17. God, who gives life to the dead, and calls those things which do not exist, as though, they did. We've been talking this week about overcoming through tribulation, and we're going to use uh, the life of Jesus Christ as he was going to go to the cross. I can't think of any tribulation that could ever be worse than what Jesus was facing. Uh, we started the week with his encouragement to his disciples to have courage in the face of danger uh, because he had overcome the world. You know, Jesus spoke these words prior to going to the cross, yet he stated, I have overcome the world. Jesus knew he was about to face the biggest tribulation of all time. He would be arrested. He would be falsely accused, whipped without misery, uh, without mercy. Uh, he would have, um, he would be blindfolded and spit on. He would have a crown of thorns smashed on his head, and finally he would be nailed to a cross. If that was not enough, he was going to have all the sins of mankind placed upon him. He would become sin for us, and then he would have God the Father forsake him. And turn away from him for God could not look on the sin that had been poured on his son yet Jesus said I have overcome he didn't say I could overcome I will overcome I might overcome but I have overcome Jesus spoke words of faith grounded in truth our faith needs to be just like this not God might or God could or God can but God has whatever he has promised in his word even though we may have yet to see it, it's a done deal. That's faith. That's the kind of faith God wants us to have. If we're going to be overcomers in our trials and tribulations, we must learn to speak the truth of God's Word, to speak it often, and to speak it boldly. To speak words of faith, not negative words of our emotions and our feelings that our carnal nature wants to. We may not see what we want. We may not feel what we want. We may not be experiencing what we want. And none of what's happening to us may make any sense at all. And that's where we really find out what we believe and who we believe in. And that's when the real test of faith comes. But that's when you need to begin to look in God's Word, find out what God's Word says about your situation, find out what God's Word says about who you are in Christ Jesus, and declare those words boldly in the face of trials and in the face of tribulations. And I hope you'll begin to practice that each day. God bless you.